Hello beautiful Virgos, welcome in. My name is a Gifted Hermit. I reside in the UK, London. Gonna do a traditional Celtic cross for us Virgos, okay? We're too fast at giving up on what I am. Because <clears throat> I just read, we read into things too much, okay? Celtic cross, you now heart of the matter, the tower, okay? And then it came up with the six of pentacles, which was the challenge. So I feel like you lot are going through major changes it's like a major wake up call it, it's a it's a it's a work of god it's a shit that has to happen something's got to give okay whether it's expected or unexpected whatever okay you right now are going through some major changes virgo it's it's just that simple okay you're trying to keep a balance you're trying to keep a balance on something here you may find it a challenge okay it's a challenge to stay positive it's a challenge to stay negative we're trying to find that yin and that yang okay the conscious goal is to walk away from this either somebody could be somebody or it could be an idea a way of thinking when it comes to our emotions okay walking away from the past our old way of loving our old way of feeling our old way of expressing our emotions and, and shit like that you know the unknown influence okay is your power your power within your life your family okay you there's so much at stake here. For a lot of Virgo, there's so much at stake when it comes to our happiness. Our happiness, our authenticity. I hope I said that right. Okay, but yeah, the conscious goal is definitely to walk away. It could be walking away from old family members, okay? Because sometimes we get to walk away from family members or at least an old way of of doing shit okay there's so much success here okay so much success here that you, you don't even know it we don't even know it perhaps once upon a time you was cold you were a bit too blunt you're a bit too <sighs> motionless okay well i see that coming back okay and it could be this could be somebody in your life, okay? It could be your subconscious. It could be the, your negative Nancy side and that type of energy, okay? But you're getting back. You're getting back what your 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 true authenticity. I'm saying that so wrong. I got I, something in my mouth. Yeah, I'm trying to find excuses. But um, what what's approaching you right now is is your your inner self your unique being what you're meant to be what you're meant to always be okay so again just to summarize from how far we've come okay you are going through major changes right now okay shit is changing in your life or it has changed in your life whether you liked it or not whether you thought it was good for you or not it was meant to happen okay because you need to realign you need to realign, you need to find that balance of who you're giving your time and your energy to and what you're putting your effort and your energy into, okay? Now, you, you want to walk away from shit. You want to walk away from shit where you, what you give is what you get, okay? If you're not getting that reciprocated back to you, you're walking away from it. You're also walking away from an old idea of life the, an old diet, an old way of of thinking and that type of energy okay you have always been for the good of mankind you've always been there to to make people around you happy you know you make people around you happy whether that's your loved ones or your lovers okay you're moving into a much more positive way of thinking all right uh, we're going from cold Virgo to nice Virgo. We're going back to nice Virgo. Uh, where are we going now? So we're saying major changes, okay? 
major changes can signify Scorpio energy here, okay? <clears throat> you can use all this negative, all this negativity that you may have built up or all this trauma, all this all this stuff that you've been you've been through. You can use that. You can use that to better mankind. You can use that to um, pull it into a positive aspect, okay? Because people see your pain, whether it's your lovers, you know, people know what you've gone through. They can see the hurt, the sorrow, the overthinking that we're so good at. Some of us, I'm, I tell you, we all get like this, right? Fearful of being alone. Or hoping to come back to your own, or because this could be hopes and fears, okay? Coming back in, hoping to come back to your own, hoping to find the answer to keep moving forward, perhaps for some of you, or just to find that answer to help you, to guide you, okay? Some of you are very fearful of being alone or being rejected, perhaps. What we get here is a fresh start. The, the ability for you to start again, Virgo, okay? Um, and not to be hard on yourself. We all go through trials and tribulations. We all go through ups and downs in life, okay? Uh, it's about listening to your intuition, playing, paying good attention to that and playing into that. You've gone through enough hurt. A lot of Virgos have gone through enough hurt. A lot of Virgos are trying to change something here. You know, change the grain to better themselves, to enjoy life and what it may bring. Hyphen. Nice. Wow. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So some of you, marriage is very important to some of you. Marriage is on the cards for some of you. Perhaps a proposal. Okay. But your values are in the right place. Yes. Your values are in the right place. Some of you are really tapping into your spirituality and your intuition. You've got good values, okay, when it comes to your family, with regards to your family and loved ones. Your heart's in the right place. You have been cold in the past. Hands up. Hands up to all the Virgos. You know, don't fuck with a Virgo when, when we are pissed and we don't give a shit okay but a lot of us are coming back into that grounded energy all right and and using the negative that we've been through to to make a positive change perhaps don't lie to yourself tarot is saying some of us don't lie okay tarot is also saying that some of you will never get the answers that that you've been searching for all your life you'll never get the answers There is a little, uh, there's a water energy here, okay? A lot of you, um, some of you, some of you, not a lot of you, some of you are dealing with interracial connections, okay? Some of you don't want to be hurt again. You don't want to miss a beat. Like, Virgo doesn't want to miss a beat. Virgo doesn't want to get caught slacking or with their guard down. Because when your guard's down, then what happens? You know, a lot of us are very protective, protective energy right now. But it's fair to say that a lot of you, you've been through, you've been through your karmic lessons, right? You've been through your karmic lessons, okay? Justice is being served, Virgo. Justice is being served. You're trying to find that balance. It's important for a lot of Virgos um, to not only give, but to also receive. Make sure you're getting some some of that energy that you're giving out back, okay? And just remember, yeah, sometimes we'll never get the answers that we long for. Don't, you know, because that can lead us to trying to find answers or wasting our energy on thoughts that play no part. Some of you have some really wise people, okay, that 
either look down on you or around you, look up to you. <laughs> Virgo with their guard up, huh? You guys got so much love to give. You guys are going through some major changes right now. Listen to your intuition. Don't let fear hold you back. Fear is an illusion. Fear keeps us confused. The outcome. Look at the outcome for your Celtic spread, okay? That's a new lease of life, a new beginning that is there for the taking. Listen to your... Pay attention to your intuition. You know, that amethyst there. Really pay attention. You are protected. You are... You are being told, go for it. I did another reading about this before. Go for it. You are going for it. It seems like a lot of you are going for it. You just... We just gas to go for a gift, man. We can't quit. We can't quit, man. Man, we know we can be really cold and shit. But we got to do what we got to do. Some people don't like our truth. But the truth sets you free. <laughs> the admirer is still there as well for a lot of you. Still lingers. I think someone else said um, the energy is the energy's not bad with your admirer. Not at all, but... <laughs> They still linger. <laughs> they still linger. Let's get you some angel cards. Just for the sake of it. Angels. What do you have for the Burgundy Burks? There's a lady that says Burgundy. She goes, hello, Burgundy Burks. She's so sweet. I don't know if, she's, if it's Virgo Nation. One more shuffle for the messages. For Virgo. And we'll get three. We'll get three angel cards. Don't be confused. You know where you're going. You do. You really do. Just tap into it, man. Never give up. Giving up is not an option. Virgos. What are the messages? Angels. Angels. Clear flipper. Mm, some truths may be delivered to you, okay? Remember Mercury is still retrograde, okay? So try not to act on impulse. I still, okay, this is, for me, this is the, the admirer, this person. There's somebody that is watching you. That is, they are watching you. Could be a fire sign. Pay attention to people around you, okay? Um, be careful as well. Just like... Don't get upset. Easily. Try to keep that cool head. Self-discipline, yes. <laughs> Try to keep that self-discipline, okay? Some of you having sleepless nights, yeah. Some, some. I've been having a couple of nightmares. To be, to be fair. Yes, willpower. Stay determined, Virgo. Okay, stay determined. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm daydreaming. I'm gonna go and eat. Love, peace, and light. I'll catch y'all. Real soon.